Hello. So back on our happiness kick, uh, the next thing after presence that I wanted to talk about was gratitude. Uh, before I do that, I'd like to say if you like the videos that I have here, uh, please subscribe to the channel so that you have access to all of them. You can hit the button down below. Okay, so why gratitude though? Why is gratitude so important to creating happiness in your own life? Um, I think people spend so much time focused on negative things um, that practicing gratitude helps us get away from that. It's really, it's really an important practice to have in your life. Um, taking time to practice gratitude will have a profound effect on your very on your own life um, internally and the way that you think and see the world. It will help improve relationships. It helps improve productivity and performance. Um, it's been shown to help people sleep and it can literally help your heart. Um, studies show that it helps cope with stress, it boosts mental strength. So there's a lot of really good reasons to practice gratitude. Um, expressing gratitude. Um, I think that expressing gratitude and having gratitude in your life is one of the hallmarks of a life well lived. Um, we don't all and always live life well, do we? There, we have moments where we're not, we're not doing the best. Um, and I think that when you're having those moments, getting back to gratitude is a really great way to ground you back uh, into your life and into the things that really matter. Um, gratitude is how we show that we're really paying um, attention. And I think it's important to express gratitude with no agenda. So thank somebody with no hope for something in return. Send a thank you card without caring if you get anything back from that. Gratitude isn't about what you get back, it's about the act of doing it and what that does for us. All right, so step one, we need to cultivate personal gratitude. Um, start a gratitude practice. So some people say they wake up in the morning and they spend the first five minutes thinking about the things that they're grateful for. That's one day way to have a gratitude practice. I find with people that I coach, it's best to initially uh, start writing down um, rather than just doing it mentally because you need something physically to produce. So make a list of five things you're grateful for. Um, I have one client who takes a whiteboard marker and every morning writes on her bathroom mirror the five things she's grateful for and then erases it that night and starts over the next morning. There's lots of different ways to have a gratitude practice, but you definitely wanna start one. Most people find it most effective to do this first thing in the morning so that you're very present in your day and the very first things you're thinking of is what you're grateful for in your life. Um, you want to be specific when you express gratitude um, to others. Oh, I'm sorry. So uh, moving on to step two is showing gratitude towards others. And you want to be specific. So let's say that you're being grateful for your wife. You don't want to just say, hey, wife, I'm grateful for you. Um, that's nice, but it doesn't really show that you've noticed anything. So instead, I really appreciate you making dinner last night and doing all of the dishes and noticing how tired I was. I'm really grateful that you are so empathetic and that you realize when I just really need you to handle stuff around the house. That's specific and that's meaningful. Um, it doesn't have to be recent things either. You can be sitting in your office um, one day and realize that you learned some pretty amazing things from a college professor and you can just write them a thank you note from six years ago, from 10 years ago, from 15 years ago. Um, I've written thank you notes to people from 15, 20 years ago that have affected my life and it matters. It matters to me and it matters to them. Um, you have no idea what other people are going through and when you push gratitude out into the world, you have no idea how that might possibly affect someone's life or a day. Um, I think it's really, really important too for our children that we are teaching our kids how to express gratitude. Um, a couple ideas for that. Um, you want to be what you want to see. So let your children see you express gratitude to your spouse, to their other parent, um, or if you're a single parent, to their grandparent, to their teachers. Let them witness that gratitude. Let them witness that gratitude practice happen. If you have a gratitude practice in the morning, consider doing it at breakfast together with your kids. Get them a gratitude journal and help them write in it. Um, 
a specific time as a family to practice gratitude is really a great idea. Do it together at dinner, at meal times. Um, at least one meal should be had together in a family. It's so sad to me when I see these kids that are so incredibly overscheduled and they don't have time at breakfast, they're at school for lunch and at dinner, they're running here, there and everywhere and nobody ever has time to sit together. Um, make that time. And if it's football season and you're busy during football season, that's fine. Then everybody needs to wake up 20 minutes earlier because we're having breakfast together as a family. You're the leader of the family, so you are allowed to actually make that decision. Um, and I'm proposing that during that time, you do a gratitude practice with your kids. Um, fostering a deep sense of gratitude early in life can help your child have a really wonderful perspective on life. Being a kid is not easy. Middle school is a no joke. Guys, I don't know how long it's been since you've been there. It's been a while for me. Um, but middle school and high school are not easy places to be. And if children are given the uh, skill to wake up every morning and learn how to be grateful first before everything else, you will find that they are much more able to handle the trials and tribulations that come along with life. Um, but specifically with being a preteen, a teenager, a middle school child. Um, so that's my advice on gratitude. I hope that you found some value in it. Um, I am going to be back soon talking about um, hug again. Um, that word that I've been studying from Denmark, H-Y-G-E-E. -E. It's spelled, if I believe it's pronounced hug. Um, and we're going to talk about happiness um, in your living environment. Um, in your home, where you live, where you reside, and simple things you can do to create that feeling of hug. And just as a reminder, that feeling, that word means that feeling you get when you're sitting by a crackling fire, um, that overwhelming comfort feeling you get um, when you go to grandma's house and she gives you a piece of pie, um, you know, that just good feeling you get sometimes when you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. So there's a way to set your life up to have more of that. And one of the ways is by enhancing the environment that you live in. And so the next video that I'm gonna do is gonna talk specifically about what to do in your environment to create that sense of hug, that feeling of hug in your house and home every day. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And again, if you like our videos, please feel free to subscribe. You can put just push the button down below. Thanks.